Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Paddock. I hope that you're doing well. Today for religion, we're gonna talk about Pentecost. Now, uh, Pentecost, uh, we've, we've kind of talked about this before. It's, uh, it's when the Holy Spirit comes down on the apostles and allows them to speak in different tongues in order to go and spread the good word of, of the Lord. Um, for our craft today, I've provided you with a, a bunch of papers in your home, remote learning package. So you're going to need to get those. One of the papers that you're going to need is this really big piece of white paper. It looks like this, okay? So it's uh, a lot bigger than the other, um, the other sheets of paper and uh, it should be in your package of, um, of learning, remote learning papers, okay? Uh, you're also going to need your dove that looks like this okay and you're going to need this sheet that has seven uh, flames one two three four five six seven seven flames and there should be one strip of paper that looks like this and it says be filled with the spirit okay so you're going to have those three sheets plus that white sheet the blank white sheet the big one and you're going to do a craft that looks like this okay so your craft is going to look similar to this now and then you're going to color and cut out uh, those sheets and then you're going to glue them onto your big paper to look something like this. Now the dove, whenever we see the dove, the dove represents the Holy Spirit. Uh, the dove is, is almost always seen as a white bird. That's the color of the dove. So you don't have to actually color your dove, okay? Just cut out your dove as nicely as you can. The flames, uh, when you do the flames, they usually look like this. So the inside is yellow, the out, this part here, the middle part is orange, and then the outside of the flame is red. Now there's seven flames, and I'll talk about that in a second, um, but it, usually when we see a picture of Pentecost or the Holy Spirit kind of coming down, we usually see the bird, the dove, and then the flames underneath, okay? And then the little saying, I just put mine on the bottom, be filled with the spirit. And I colored it nicely and then just kind of cut it out just to trim it to fit it on here. I put my name on here as well. You could put yours at the top if you want. doesn't matter. Um, it fits way better if you do the paper like rocket ship instead of the hamburger way, okay? So put your paper rocket ship uh, and that'll be uh, much nicer. You'll be able to fit all of the, the flames on there very nice. I did four flames at the top and three at the bottom. You could do three and then four, it doesn't matter, but basically it the flames are coming from the Holy Spirit, okay? So let's chat a little bit about Pentecost right now. So that's what the craft will look like, and I'd love to see a picture of your craft, uh, or you could show it to me at the next session that we have, okay? So uh, that's the craft. Now for Pentecost, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that right now, just so you know well, what's, what's Pentecost. So you know, you remember we had Easter uh, back in April. This year, this is 2021, uh, we had Easter on April the 4th. Now Easter moves around um, and it's based on, it's basically based on the moon uh, and uh, the Jewish cal uh, calendar. Uh, so we follow when Passover is. Um, and so that's when we determine when Easter is. So every year Easter is on a different date. It's not like Christmas where Christmas is always on you know, December the 25th, Easter moves around. This year, uh, 2021, Easter was on April the 4th. So we've already celebrated Easter uh, and part of our liturgical season, um, we are still in Easter right now. Last week, we celebrated the Ascension of the Lord. That was on May the 13th, 2021. Um, and that was when Jesus went up into heaven. Um, if you remember, we did that little craft where I had the little blue cup and you pull on the string and Jesus goes up into heaven into the cup, right? So that was when he goes up. Ascension means to go up. So that was on May 13th this year. Pentecost happens... Um, 50 days after Easter. So Ascension happens 40 days after Easter and Pentecost happens 50 days after, so 10 days after the Ascension. And this year it's going to be on May the 23rd, so 2021. Uh, so it's coming up this, uh, this weekend. Um, basically it's when uh, the Pentecost is when the Holy Spirit comes down on the apostles and it allows them to speak in different tongues uh, in order to go and spread the good word of the Lord. Okay. Uh, now remember who the apostles are. They were Jesus's buddies. Um, they, you know, they hung out during the uh, Last Supper, that sort of stuff, right? And, and and basically, they wanted to go spread the good word. 
uh, we often think of Pentecost as being the beginning of our Catholic Church because that's when we've we've we're we're wanting to go spread the good word. Okay, so Pentecost is kind of the beginning of our church. All right, and uh, we often think of the Holy Spirit coming down and there's these flames and things like that, and it basically means the flames are allowing uh, uh, the others to go and spread the good word, allowing them to speak in different languages, things like that. Now, uh, when you look at our, our little craft that we're going to do, there's seven flames. Uh, and usually these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. There's seven gifts. Um, and you don't have to worry so much about them. But the seven gifts are wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of God. Okay. Um, and it's not fear that you're going to be scared of God. But it just means, you know, you need to respect God and, and that. Okay. So there's seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. So each gift is represented in one flame. So when you do your craft, you've got seven flames there. That's what it is. It's just the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to read from the Bible, uh, and again, it's from the New Testament, okay? Um, that's where, the New Testament is where we see Jesus, um, you know, uh, the story of Jesus in there, okay? So, listening to our little story here. The coming of the Holy Spirit. The disciples were in Jerusalem waiting for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Sorry about the bell. Of course, I'm in class. The disciples were in Jerusalem waiting for the Holy Spirit to come and baptize them, as Jesus had told them. Meanwhile, they decided to replace the traitor Judas with a new disciple. Then they would be 12 once more, as Jesus had originally intended. They prayed <clears throat> for guidance and cast votes, and Matthias was cho chosen. The 12 became known as the Apostles. Then the waiting continued. Fifty days after Passover and the death of Jesus, it was the Feast of Pentecost when the Jews celebrate how God had given the religious laws to Moses. The apostles were celebrating the feast when suddenly a mighty sound like a rushing wind filled their ears as though it was all around them in the house. The apostles felt alive and full of energy and turning to each other in astonishment, they saw that every man had a tiny flame hovering over his head. It must be the Holy Spirit, they cried, and they found that they were all speaking in different languages. Realizing that they had been blessed with the special gifts Jesus had talked about, the apostles excitedly ran into the streets. Some found themselves giving thanks to God in Greek. Others were preaching about Jesus in Latin. Someone, some were praising the Holy Spirit in uh, Arabic and, other, and other, many other languages as well. Many worshippers from foreign lands had come to Jerusalem from, for Pentecost, and they were stunned. These men are from Galilee, they marveled. How can they speak our language? However, some people just laughed and said that the apostles were being silly. When Peter began preaching and everyone who heard him was stirred by his passion, uh, we are not being silly, he laughed. We are followers of Jesus of Nazareth. He has risen from the dead. We have seen it with our own eyes. Today, we have been blessed by the Holy Spirit with these gifts of languages. Anyone who is truly sorry for their sins and follows the teachings of Jesus will be blessed too. Who wants to join us? That day, the apostles baptized over 3,000 people as followers of Jesus. The foundations of the Christian church had been laid. And there we go. And Peter, of course, we know later on, uh, Peter, he, he becomes the, our first pope. Um, and Peter, of course, uh, it means the rock. So uh, the rock on which we built our church. Okay, so there's a little bit of information for you about Pentecost. Uh, basically, it is the coming down of the Holy Spirit on the apostles uh, so that they can go spread the good word of God and, uh, and let others know about uh, his wonder. Okay, so do your craft. I'd love to see it. Uh, take pictures or show it to me at the next session. I love you lots and we'll talk to you soon. God bless you guys all. Bye.